So you heard something about stripping runs, but not sure how they are done. Let me show you what I do. Hey everyone, Distiller Krilling here, one of your favorite home and hobby distillers. So today I am attempting to do a stripping run. Stripping runs is what it says. You need to strip out as much of your wash or strip down your wash as much as you can but still contain your flavor and alcohol that you want at the end. So for me today, a stripping run in the sense you use a pot still boiler. Now with my 100 liter still, I cannot entirely get a pot still because I was actually supposed to take directly from the boiler down to a condenser. My parrot is the problem here, so what I tend to do is I've got four T sections with extension and my condenser coming down at the lowest point where the parrot can be and then I'll be collecting. The four T sections, I have it on like this, it's straight through and I'm just like a pipe that you can still have a pot still effect without bubble trays. So we will do now a stripping run, running the heat as hot as we can. In the residential area where I'm staying, my plug circuit can only handle 3.5 kilowatts of power. So I've got a 4 kilowatt boiler, so I brought it down to 85% power. So at the moment it's about 3.4 kilowatts that I'm running the heat on. I will run it on until I start to see my boiler temperature, the bottom one here. If I see that one comes up to about above 50 degrees Celsius, then I know it definitely is. Vapor saw starting to form and is going to heat up my rest of the column as well. I will then look at my top temperature. I've got it here on the reducer to see what the vapor is coming out. And then we will condense it down and collect it. I will be checking it via ABV on my parrot itself. I run my stripping run on a ABV count of 10%. As soon as I get a 10% ABV, on the parrot, I stop my stripping run depending on how it looks. Stripping run, you got you can run it different ways. You can run it just by reducing your wash. At the moment, I've got 85 liters in the boiler, so I can say argument half it to about 42 and a half liters, or I can run it on ABV count, or you can run it on time. Some people have done it so many times they know that if I put everything in four hours later, then I stop my run. But for me, this is still new to everything. I like to keep my records and I like to go via ABV. As the gate day progresses, we'll continue with this. I will also showcase when the first distillate comes out. We will not be taking any heads off today. Stripping run as well, you take everything. You'll do a rectifying run afterwards, but that's for another video. So for now, we'll just leave it to heat up and I'll chat to you guys again. So far, stripping run is going good and constant. I had my power output at 85%. I've turned it down now to 65% power. That gives me about 2.6 kilowatts of element power. The previous run, when I kept it at 85%, I saw that my condenser itself couldn't handle all of that, or maybe the water pressure that I have here in the complex where I'm staying. So I have decided to dial it down as well. Like I said, I'm keeping it at 65% power, 2.6% kilowatt. It's also coming, I would say it's about here now, spilling slowly. I've got my alcohol meter inside, but it's not bubbling yet, so I know it's, it's still increasing. As you can see, there's also some a bit of activity on the glass side glasses as well. Bit of sweat drips almost coming down. So it also shows that definitely vapor is increasing. I can see on my temperature, I've got about 82.7 degrees now on the boiler. And on the vapor chamber, it's now 69.5 degrees. So it also tells me that definitely vapor is definitely going up, being condensed. Definitely seeing that vapor is going up, getting condensed, and it's filling up the parrot. Ah, there you can see now the alcohol meter has just popped up. That is a good sign, also showing that definitely we are filling. Yes, my technique for capturing is not maybe the best, 
I have got a makeshift thing I have here. I will use it, my one litre plastic cylinders, to fill it up, taking measurements at 500 mils increments. And then after that, I will transfer it to my glass cowboy at the back. I just want to check what is the ABV that's going to come out. You don't want it too high ABV with a stripping run. If it comes out low, anything from the mid 70s to lower, that is fine. Don't expect a stripping run to come out at 85 or 90 percent. Let's see. We have now. We actually have it at 75. Percent. So I'm just going to write it down. So I will let it fill now and take my increments and then I'll get back to you as soon as the run is complete. We're getting near to the end. I've got about still 11, 12, 11 ABV percent on my hydrometer. So collecting all that I have collected so far, I feel quite good for a stripping run. You can run it faster and maybe collect some more, but as you can see, I'm having a bit of a jaw shortage or a jaw constraint. So I'm running it a bit slower, collecting a bit more higher ABV, but I'm still getting the flavor that I want. I can smell it smelling quite good. So my plan after this tripping run is to do a rectifying run with all that I have here. This one at the back was a previous tripping run that I did, but that is for another time. That is it. Call it a day. 10% ABV. I've stopped it, I'm quite happy there, switched off my heating element and drained as well the parrot. So this is my take on a stripping run. You can run it faster if your condenser allows it, but at this moment I feel comfortable doing it the way I do it. It is maybe a bit longer time consuming, but at the end of the day I'm still having fun and I still get all my products out that I want. So that is it, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I help you a bit. If you've got any questions, leave a comment down below. And as always, guys, remember to be awesome, to be kind, and be yourself. Cheers.